Hey folks, Steve here with an unboxing video. Uh, today, earlier uh, in the day, I received a wonderful package from GMT, which included two games. I got uh, one of them here in front of me. We received a Great Battles of History Volume 8 Cataphract reprint. So this is one I've been stoked on getting for a while. Um, I got a lot of the Great Battles of History series, and uh, I knew Cataphract was going to be reprinted on the P500, so I put in for that, and uh, it, it arrived, and I'm, I'm very stoked to talk about it, um, and, and would like to play it and get it on the channel soon, even though I've got a lot of backlog of Great Battles of History stuff. I will say, um, so this is a, a reprint, and... I am not going to say that I am responsible for this, because I don't know that I am. All I can tell you is that I posted a thread on BoardGameGeek, and I got some people talking. Whether or not that got to GMT about it, I really don't know. But I'm happy to say that this printing of Cataphract, the second printing, includes the battles from the Attila expansion, the Udis River, Udis, Udis? I don't know how to say that, and the Catalonian Fields. Uh, these two battles were part of the Attila expansion. Now, before it was clear that GMT was including it, I went and bought the expansion separately and figured I could add it to uh, my Cataphract game when it finally came out. Uh, but I didn't need to, it turns out, because they eventually announced that, indeed, this printing was going to include those battles, as I, I had brought up on Board Game Geek. It'd be really great if they did that. Because Attila has been out of print, so I paid like 20 bucks for this, and, well, need to figure out something. If anyone needs a copy of Attila, uh, let me know, and we'll work something out. Um, but in the interim, uh, you know, they, they, you know, had, from that point, they had said, yep, we're going to add those battles, and, and they're on the game box. You probably can't see it because of a glare. There we go. Udis River, Catalonian Fields, bam. So now you've got... A nice number of battles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes, you know, you look at these games that have a couple of battles in them, you got to wonder, you know, if it's only one or two battles, is it worth it? Uh, and especially things like the SPQR reprint, which was like, ah, tons of, tons of battles in there. This is still, this is good. It's also good because this uh, kept the campaign game uh, Justinian, right? Reconquest of Rome, 528 to 558 A.D., this this basically has two games in it. It's got Cataphract, Great Battles of History, and a strategic level game of Justinian's uh, conquests in the Mediterranean. So, um, just awesome, you know, awesome package. Uh, so we're going to unbox this sucker in the short amount of time I have to do an unboxing. So on the back, um, you see sort of just a map talking about where the battles are at. You don't get a good sense of the components just from the back of this. Uh, medium complexity, high solitaire, you can see some of the counters here. So if you're familiar with Great Battles of History, all this is um, pretty straightforward stuff. I'm going to get this sucker, break the shrink, and we will check out the insides. Now I suspect it should be straightforward. GMT always has uh, good quality stuff, and they, I've, I've had very good experiences in making sure that I actually have all of it components. There we go. Bumped the camera. I'm sorry about that, guys. Here we go. So here it is. Uh, we get the plastic thrown away. And take the lid off. Um, filled to the brim with stuff, which is good. So we've got our rule book, which, you know, Great Battles of History, uh, the main rules, um, Oh, I'm sorry, this is the Justinian rulebook. Ugh. Yes, okay. Justinian, so 16 pages of rules that cover the uh, that, that campaign level game. Um, I don't think there's actually a crossover between like, oh, you're going to fight a battle in Justinian, can you do it with Cataphract? I don't think, the, the game isn't set up to allow you to do that. You would have to kind of figure out your own translation system, unfortunately. But it's still an interesting game by itself. Um, I've done some reading into it, it and it's kind of neat. Uh, but there may be things that I don't appreciate about it that may be, um, that may be the case in here that you can uh, do that. But I'm pretty sure they didn't include that. 
anyway, uh, quick rules there, color, um, and, you know, looks pretty good. Then we have our Cataphract Scenario Book. So, um, this is pretty straightforward stuff. It's going to include our scenarios, uh, including the um, Attila expansion stuff. So, all goodness, 27 pages, also color. Uh, looks, looks nice to me. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Um, and, oh yeah, yeah, so one of these battles in here is actually a naval battle. It looks like, if I'm if I'm reading this correctly, um, so we'll have to validate that there are naval units here. Uh, there's your rule book, Great Battles of History, 30-ish um, pages. Obviously, if you want to do this with the simple Great Battles of History, you can you can look to do that. Um, comprehensive color with examples of stuff. You know, good good quality stuff. Sequence of play on the back, uh, and then we're getting into the maps which, and then a whole bunch of counters. So, uh, the maps for this are going to be, uh, obviously we're going to have about a map or so per battle. You can see, as I try to lay some of this out, that uh, there are, like, some of these battles are going to be half mappers, so you'll fold it in half. Uh, so it looks like this is the Battle of Dara, and then Tangene, and I think... Yeah, on the back, there are other battles. So you, there's a couple of map sheets in here, and they're multi-purposed. And then you have your map for Justinian, which is actually printed on the back of a Battle of Udis River map, which is basically just a big blank hex map. It's just big and blank. There's no, there's no terrain on here, uh, but on the opposite side, you can see here, paper map of Justinian, and uh, so there's like Roman territories, the uh, Byzantium, Eastern Roman Empire proper, Dacia, or however they want to refer to it, uh, Greece, and other regions, and you know, this game has its own rules, its own systems, and I can't speak to it strongly other than you do move around armies, and you're conquering and, and dealing with those things. Kind of a neat game. Not a lot of games around this time period, honestly. You know, when you look at uh, war games, you know, the, the, this period isn't covered a whole lot, um, and so I'm glad just to have games in general for it. Uh, so counter sheets, so this looks like, uh, these are the counters that would have come from Attila, so it's labeled as counter sheet three. You can see, uh, it's pretty good thickness. These look like brown core, so these are going to be, you know, a big benefit from the previous printings, which I think use the thinner uh, counter stock. Um, these are going to be a lot easier to punch and are going to be much sturdier counters, so that's super cool. I like that. Um, and then, let's see, we've got counter sheet one and got all your nice uh, sets of units here. Nothing seems totally out of whack there. Um, Yeah, all the purple Byzant Byzantine units. Uh, counter sheet two, which has uh, naval units for the naval battle, as well as the typical markers for Great Battles of History. Uh, and we do have Justinian's uh, own counter sheet, dedicated counter sheet. So you have the army units uh, here that are like strength points, basically. You have some leaders. It's a straightforward game. It's almost like a ma I would say like a magazine game in terms of content. And it just included with this, you know, existing game. Um, player aid card one. This is going to be your typical great battles of history type stuff. Missile ranges, clash of spears uh, and swords chart, shock superiority, combat results, uh, cohesion list summary. Um, so it looks like there's two copies of that. And then there's a Justinian player aid card, which is nice of them to have. Uh, the second player aid card here, uh, which has leadership checks and looks like it's just a one pager front and back instead of a folded and you get some summary information here, some basic charts that are all good, two copies of that. Uh, and then you have your insert, which um, I know some people don't like inserts. I like to keep the inserts if I can use them strategically to keep 
all the stuff in the box flat. It can help with that. Uh, some, you know, in some cases I'll throw them out. But you do get one of those and some baggies, which is good. I like the baggies. Um, and a die. So uh, overall, it uh, looks like we've got everything I expected to be and um, a really good package, I'd say, because again, you're getting um, <laughs> you're getting uh, the base Cataphract game, you're getting the expansion Attila content, and you're getting the Justinian magazine game, which they retained and kept in the in the product package here. So this is this is all good stuff. Um, really looking forward to trying this one out. You know, good uh, Eastern Roman Empire. Dark age, you know, Dark Ages stuff. I say Dark Ages. I know that's a weird term, uh, but um, you know, early medieval history, basically here. Very cool stuff. Very excited. Looking forward to playing this one. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit like. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. And uh, I'll have another unboxing video here uh, uploaded to the channel uh, not long after this one, or at the same time. So you'll see see both if you care. So uh, that's Cataphract unboxing. We'll see you in the next one.